Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, as you can probably tell, we're going to be having a little look at the Ramshackle Games Iron Brotherhood set. Uh, before we begin, if you'd like to see more videos like this one, ways to save money and that sort of thing within the hobby, please hit the subscribe button and destroy the bell button so that you never miss an upload. So, what do we have here? Probably notice I am focusing more on these guys than anything, <clears throat> and that is because um, I'm currently doing a giveaway uh, where you can win a squad of 10 of these um, from Ramshackle Games. Um, I've spoke to Curtis, who is basically the owner of the business, the guy who makes the models, sculpts them and all the rest of it. Um, yeah, and he said, we'll do a giveaway. Um, I'll pay postage and he'll send them out. So you lucky, lucky fellas and ladies, probably predominantly men, because I don't really have a lot of ladies on the channel uh, as subscribers. So if you are, then you obviously pop something in the comments, but you know, anyway, we'll carry on as regardless. <clears throat> so what have we got here? We've got a squad of 10 of the Iron Brotherhood. So I've got two of the models here, which did come extra. I don't know if that's exactly what he normally does, but I know that sometimes if there's a possibility of a miscast or something like that, he may keep them in for spares and you just get an extra bit as well. So I've had that in the past with um, some other parts. And yeah, so effectively what you'll win is 10 guys. And this is the 10 men that you will win. And um, the other two are um, from a different set, which we'll obviously have a look at as well, but these are the guys that you'd win. So what I'll do is I'll probably pop something up um, somewhere up along here um, in the next minute or so with a link to the video of how to win them. <clears throat> I believe that we are ending the prize on the 14th, Mother's Day is it, uh, in the UK. Yes, so, yeah, so this, this is the models. Um, they were 10 pounds before delivery. So that is immediately less than half uh, the price for a squad of Cadian. So what I will do is, I'll also do some size comparisons, uh, but we'll have a little look at the, the models themselves first. We'll have a look at the ones that we, we're not gonna get. Uh, well, I suppose technically, this might not be just about the giveaway, but just see how they are. So as you can tell, I went for the lens heads. I actually uh, requested to be sent the lens and the chem filtered heads, and did it, both of them looked cool. I kind of thought I maybe want to use these for either um, a like Gene Steel Occult style um, um, hybrid neophytes or something like that, or just um, the um, brother, blah, 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 brood brothers, that sort of thing. And this guy's got a set of binoculars and what appears to be like a bolt gun. Obviously, we could um, think of this as an auto gun if you like, um, but we'll do a size comparison so you can see them later but that's one of the guys. So this is actually one of the ones from the set for a spotter for the mortar set. I don't actually can't remember where this one is from, but it's either this guy or the other one that we're gonna have a look at in a second who comes within the set. And again, the lens head. Basically, it looks a lot like, um, like a space helmet or like a mining suit style helmet, uh, like atmosphere suit. As you can see, they come on these little bits, so you could technically clip them off, but all I'm going to do, or what I plan on doing, is just caking up the base a little bit and uh, just do it as like it's a raised platform. Could even do it as like it's a, they're all standing on like a brick or something. But, you know, you could remove them if you wish. Um, and these are the other guys, so these are the 10 dudes. So you get one command dude person who's got like an arm basically signaling over here, guys. Um, and again, with a gun. And they've all got this sort of like outfit on where oh, come on come on i'm gonna zoom that's a little bit better um i probably need to rinse these off to be fair before i start spraying them and painting them um but you can see they've got a little backpack the back of the head has got like some metallic parts uh, so there's a lot of bit of, uh, quite a bit of detail on there um so you're you know there's always stuff to paint always good some of the other guys multiple poses of the same thing i suppose um, one thing I will point out that I kind of didn't like is the fact that it, I found it really hard to figure out which gun went with which. Now, it might be me being a bit dense, so let's not completely, let's not say, oh yeah, it's, um, oh, crikey, um, that it's an entirely bad thing. 
but for the price that you're paying, like 10 quid, that's in English money, you know, dollars, no idea, probably 15, 20 dollars, something like that, who knows, um, but less than half price for a set of Cadians, you, you could get twice the amount, in fact, so, he actually does have a deal, so this is just the price for 10. It was 16 English pounds um, for, I was just scraping my foot if you wonder what that noise was in the background. Um, yeah, it was like 16 pounds for a squad of 20. And that's way less than half the price. That's like, oh crikey. So we'll say if, it's like 22.50 I think for a squad of, squad of Cadians, full price. Obviously you can get discounts, you can get them on eBay, but in principle, brand new models, you're paying 22 quid for a squad of 10. Oh, this is a lot of bits, it's a good set, and I'm not knocking GW's set at all. Not in any way, because I love the set. I bought so many of them, that's why I like them. But, <clears throat> in principle, we're looking at what, 44, 45 quid for 20 men versus 16 pounds for 20 dudes. Now you can have different headsets, um, but your predominant lowdown gun-wise is this. Obviously you could have a guy as, as a sergeant, you could have proxy as his hand as um, maybe a power fist if you really wanted to, but you could just have it as a, a uh, basically just say he's got a chain sword. Obviously parts will, will probably go between the set. Uh, we'll get another look at one of them standing up and then a guy just like what looks to be standing relatively at ease. Um, so there's one, again, guns, basically bolt guns. Look a lot of bolt guns or auto guns, or even you could even say the lance pistols as well. And here we have the backpack, which looks quite cool. Uh, inbuilt already on some. There's a lot of folds of fabric as well in there. So again, you know, even a cheeky dry brush will make these look pretty tasty. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to paint these guys up as exactly, or whether I might do like a separate giveaway. Who knows? Um, right, so I think we're pretty much at the part of the video where we can probably get away with doing size comparisons. Cool. Um, so we'll start with a Laz Gunner uh, for a, a guardsman. So let's pick someone who's relatively similar stance, probably this guy or one of the others. So we'll move these guys off to one side just for a minute. So there we have the Iron Brotherhood guy. And here we have Acadian. So standing side by side, they're roughly the same height. Now obviously I will bring them up slightly closer so you can see. So bear in mind, these guys are stood on a little base, but head and shoulders wise, they're the same height. Gath wise, pretty much the same. Um, I've got some form of either hair or something from the set. I haven't had my Cadians out in ages, to be honest. So it might not be one of the best painted ones. It might just be like base colors and a wash on this dude. So apologies for the paint skin, but I'm, I don't know whether to paint them similar to these, you know. So, uh, I may use them either as conscripts, I might use them as jeans dealer coats, I might use them all of the above, um, or like the like a renegade guard squad, which I think looks kind of cool. So yeah, basically it's the same size as Acadian. What I'll do is we'll also get out a, a Scion. Well, obviously that was gonna be the same size, isn't it really? Let's be brutally honest, I'm not exactly simple. So the do, um, Ramshackle Games actually has a six-man squad of guys who look like they've got guns like this, plus a special weapon. I think I think that was £10 as well, but six-man squad, and they look like hotshot las gunners. Um, again, you can choose the helmets so you can make them look different or the same as your main force. So I think it's quite a good price. You also have special weapons troopers, I think, for six quid. You get three of them, but you get a plasma gun, a melt gun, and a flame air style weapon um so so you could get one one set for like three got three sets oh let's get the dude with a his hand stood up so this guy you know is doing a similar pose believe it or not to this guy just like inverse steps come on are you gonna focus yes just thereabouts uh, yeah oh come on man behave yourself thank you I won't swear. What I will do though in the meantime is I'll just pick up another model that's similarly sized. Um, <coughs> I just dropped it um, and it come off the base. The rest of the model is entirely surviving. 
can take my word on that one if you like. Yeah, so this is a Cadian versus a yeah, an Iron Brotherhood dude. So they don't come with the bases, but you know you can get them for like a couple of quid on eBay. It's like you can get quite a lot of them for next to now. So I'm not even not even counting in the price, but this you know it's it's not even a, a real consideration. So here's the size comparison between a Cadian and a Intercessor. So we'll get another bolt there. Um, so again, it should be the same basically. So you can see the size comparison between an Intercessor and one of these dudes. So, you know, I think they look quite good human sized next to them as well, which but again, so do Cadians really. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll have a little side comparison of Tau just because of the fact that I recently bought the box set uh, start collecting for Tau just because uh, of Kill Team. I already had uh, some Pathfinders and some stealth suits and I decided I'd just get some crisis suits and stuff. But anyway, here is a Tau Fire Warrior, obviously kneeling, so he's slightly smaller than a than a, an Iron Brotherhood human, but pretty much we, we was gonna guess that. Um, I think I've, I've provided as much utility as I can in this video, I think. Um, but again, I'm gonna mention the giveaway for 10 of these dudes. Um, I did speak to Curtis and he said, if we get to a thousand subscribers or may I put the, the prize up, so the more subscribers we get, the better, um, which means you might win more. So feel free genuinely to, to sell, obviously subscribe um, and tell people about the giveaway. Um, it's probably the previous video in this one, but anyway, go into the video, type the word groovy into the comments, obviously subscribe because otherwise you won't win. Um, and um, yeah, and good luck to you. Let me know. Um, if you want any of the size comparisons in the bottom below to possible models that I earn. Um, as ever, thanks for watching and see you again next time.